Hi friends, welcome to my channel Jassi Reviews. If you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe the channel so that you receive my latest videos. Today I'm going to talk about Maruti Suzuki XL6 test drive review. Starting from what is it? So in a nutshell, the new Maruti Suzuki XL6 is a premium derivative of the Artiga MPV. The XL in the name expands to exclusive while the 6 is there to communicate that this is a pure 6 seater. There are other changes inside and out too and to add further distinction to the proportion, Maruti will retail the XL6 through its premium Nexa network. Now talk about the exterior. So the XL6 looks like an Artiga set for an outing in the television show Man vs Wild. It's more rugged in look so to speak and what's also at some distinction to the XL6 is its redone front end. A raised bonnet line, a larger and bolder grille and a scuff plate gives the XL6 a pseudo SUV face. Also new and unique to the XL6 are its full LED headlights. Generous doses of the cladding on the bumpers and at the sides give mass to the design but there is a clear visual mismatch with the wheels. The 15 inch rims finished in black just looks punny under the exaggerated wheel arches. 16 inches with chunkier rubber would have done wonders for the XL6 stance. Roof rails, a rear scuff plate and dual tone tailgate are elements exclusive to the XL6 versus to the untrained eye. Now talk about the interior. On the inside, the XL6 feels like the premium Artiga it is. Show sure, the dashboard and even the dials are carried over from the Artiga, but the XL6 all black interior theme does give it a more upmarket look. The fox black ash wooden finish, the leatherite upholstered seats and even the knitted roof lining are other elements that split the experience. Front seats comfort is good even if the leatherite seats are slightly firmer than the Artiga fabric seats. Of course, among the main talking points in the XL6 is its middle row. Out goes the Artiga's bench and in come a pair of individual captain chairs. The XL6 middle row seats are easy to get onto and you have the option to slide them for the back to make ingress, egress even easier. Seat comfort is largely good too though taller occupants will find thigh support a bit lacking. As on the Artica, the XL6 middle row seats doesn't tumble forward so you will have to duck walk your way onto the third row. Again like on the Artica, you will be surprised by the space on offer at the very back. It is easy to reach a knee room compromise with middle seat passenger. Headroom is adequate for an average size adult and a sitting position is also quite nice. Maruti has launched the XL6 in Zeta and Alpha trims and both get plenty of way of features. In addition to auto climate control, keyless entry and go and electric fold mirrors, the top spec Artigas come with the XL6 gets much wanted additions like LED headlights with DRLs and cruise control, leather seats and reverse cam camera are exclusive to the XL6 Alpha trim though Maruti should have added an auto dimming mirror too. The XL6 also goes one up on the Artica by deploying Maruti new generation smart play studio infotainment unit. Now talk about the driving. So if you have driven a patrol powered Artica, you have driven the XL6. Maruti has not tinkered with the engine and suspension in any way. The 1.5 litre petrol engine now updated to be a 6 spec features mild hybrid tech with the setup comprising an integrated starter generator and a secondary lithium ion battery pack. The motor gives some assist under heavy acceleration but there is no pure electric mode. Initial responses on the XL6 are good and if you are hold gear you will also appreciate the borderline spotty top end. What's more the engine also sounds quite throaty above 3000 rpm 
However, the mid range is flat, so you will have to shift down a gear if you want a quick overtake. The Excel 6 speed manual gearbox is easy to use and the clutch is well weighted too. Also on the offer is a 4 speed torque converter automatic. The unit is like cable shifting smoothly in average down driving. Pressing down harder on the accelerator has the gearbox drop down a ratio of 2 and it's get the engine all reeled up. Now the last but not the least is the question should I buy one? So, price from rupees 9.8 lakh to 11.46 lakh X showroom India, the XL6 range starts where the Artiga range tops off at. The petrol manual XL6 Zeta cost about rupees 20,000 more than the comparable top spec Artiga ZXI Plus, which makes it a fairly good deal. The petrol manual Alpha trim is a touch pricey and there is a significant premium to pay for the autos too. That said, with the majority of Artica sales concentrated at the top end, Maruti should not find it's too hard to convince buyers to upgrade to XL6. Thanks for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe the channel.